Okay, so we have to integrate this. So the idea here is to complete the square and then maybe try to use a formula. And the reason that you know to try that is because you have a trinomial on the bottom and it doesn't really seem to factor nicely. So it might be a good idea to try to uh, complete the square. So let's try it. So we have x to the fourth plus 10x squared plus 26. And so maybe uh, we can complete the square here. So this is x to the fourth plus 10x squared. And then what you do um, is you take these, this coefficient here and you divide it by 2 and you square it. So 10 over 2 is 5. And then 5 squared is 25. So we put a plus 25 here. And you see how convenient this is. Uh, these are almost the same, we just need a plus 1. And so again, the reason that I knew to do this, or to at least start doing this, is we have an x up here. And then down here we have three terms. And it doesn't seem to factor nicely. So completing, a squ completing the square is a good attempt. This is called a perfect square trinomial. And this will always factor, and here's how. So there's an x squared here. There's a parentheses here, and there's a 2 here. Uh, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. That's how I know that there's an x squared here. Then you keep the sign, so plus, and then you just divide this number by 2, so you get 5. And then here we have the plus 1. So it takes a little bit of practice, but you know the more you do it, the better you get at it. Let's go ahead and rewrite our integral. So this is x over, and this will become x squared plus 5 squared plus 1 dx. And so now there is a formula, which should be hopefully in the back of your mind. It's if you have 1 over a squared plus x squared dx, this is equal to 1 over a arctangent of x over a and then plus a capital C. So this formula uh, should be able to be applied to what we have here. However, we first need to make a u substitution. So the 1 squared uh, will match the a squared, so a will be 1 in our problem. So let's go ahead and call this piece here, let's call this piece here u. So we'll let u be equal to x squared plus 5. And then that means that du, well, the derivative of x squared plus 5 is just 2x, because the derivative of 5 is 0, dx. And the goal is to make this, the 2x dx, look like what we have in our integral. So we have an x dx in our integral. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So we can write this as 1 half du equals x dx. And so now we're ready to make our substitution. So x dx can become 1 half du. So we'll pull out the 1 half. Then we have our du. And on the bottom we have u squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so now we can apply the formula right, really nicely. So this is equal to 1 half, it hangs out. A is 1, so it's 1 over A, so 1 over 1, arctangent of U over 1. So I'll show all the steps. U over 1 plus our constant of integration, capital C. This will be equal to 1 half arctangent, and then U is simply x squared plus 5. So this is x squared plus 5. Then we have our capital C. And that should be the final answer. So I, I think the key in this problem is when you first see it, when you see the x and you see this, this trinomial here, you should immediately think, OK, I can probably factor this or, or ideally complete the square so that it leads to something with an arctan where I can make a u substitution. So eventually, if you, after you do enough of these, you'll start to really get it. But it just takes, it just takes a lot of practice. Good luck.